Welcome to the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, the most important estuary on the west coast and what it once looked like. I am going to borrow from one of the water bibles, California Rivers and Streams by Jeffrey Mound at UC Davis, to set this up. As the meandering single channel Sacramento and San Joaquin Rivers enter this delta region, the sharp decline in gradient caused the channels to bifurcate, forming a complex meshwork of channels that split and merge repeatedly. In the absence of human interference, the channels of the delta would be highly ephemeral, switching constantly, eroding islands and forming new ones, flooding and depositing fine sediment in large tracts between channels, and supporting what is widely recognized as the richest ecosystem in the state. Then came the gold rush and the conversion of the delta from a tidal wetland into a series of islands walled off by levees. On the left hind side, you'll see from top to bottom a timeline from the 1850s to today. As we move through time, you'll see how the delta transformed from its previous state to what it looks like today. The transformation was largely complete by the 1930s. Today, more than 1,100 miles of levees exist in the delta. The man-made levees line virtually all of the channels within the delta and have frozen channel migration within it. About 95% of the original wetlands no longer exist. About 95% of the biomass in the delta is now non-native. And the southern delta is the site of California's two largest water projects, the State Water Project and the Central Valley Project. The delta is now considered one of the most altered estuaries on Earth.